Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today I'm going to be doing a fall essentials haul video. So I got some stuff from Styles for Less, and I just basically picked out some fall essentials that I think you guys or everybody needs in their fall wardrobe. These are just some basic ideas of stuff you can get if you are trying to maximize your fall wardrobe and really shop smart. And I was really excited when Styles for Less contacted me because I know that it's really similar to a lot of my other favorite stores. You guys know I love stores like like Wet Seal and Charlotte Russe, like cheap, trendy stores where you don't have to spend a lot of money but you can still get cute clothes. So Styles for Less is just like that. It's super affordable but they have super cute stuff. And you guys know I'm always trying to put you guys up on game on new online stores where you can get cheap stuff. So this is one of those stores. So as usual, all the links and everything will be down below. So definitely check this place out. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Like I said, these are just some ideas of some key things to add into your fall wardrobe and also transition into your winter wardrobe. So the first thing I got I'm really excited about and I know you guys are gonna love this. It is a black felt hat. And these are super, super, super trendy right now. You'll see them a lot of times in black and then sometimes in tan. And this hat comes in tan as well. And um, it's just a statement piece, uh, but it's also just a really basic piece that you can throw onto any casual outfit or a dressy outfit. It really just adds something extra. And it makes you look like so much more of a fashionista when you add on a hat. And this hat was only $14.99. I've seen a lot of hats where they're more like 50 bucks. So this is a really cheap alternative and it's super cute. So I'll try it on for you guys. So it just looks like this. It has that nice wide brim and it's floppy so you can kind of bend it how you want if you want it down low in the front, up on the sides, or however you want it. So I definitely needed one of these because I don't have any hats like this and they're so on trend right now that sometimes you just have to feed into the trends like you just have to. So of course since it's fall and it's going to be winter, of course you're going to have cooler weather so you're going to be shopping for more jackets and coats and stuff like that. And for those days when it's not freezing cold, bomber jackets are really in right now. So bomber jackets is another thing on my essentials list. And this one is super unique because it has the cable knit sweater sleeves and it's got this plaid material. Um, but it just has that classic type collar with the buttons down the front and um, it's kind of like a varsity jacket jacket, bomber jacket type style. And these are really, really trendy right now. It's kind of that boyish look, but you can still dress it up and make it look girly if you want to. And these can go obviously super casual um, as well. So these I think are perfect to keep you warm and still look cute. And I just really like the colorway of this with the navy blue and the maroon color. So this is a nice thick lined material. So it does actually keep you warm but it doesn't add a whole bunch of bulk or boxiness to your body. Um, you can still kind of show off your figure a little bit. And this jacket also doubles as my next essential, which is anything plaid or tartan, whatever you call it. So this has that nice plaid pattern on it. And then I got these plaid leggings, which is something that I've never had. I'm kind of a legging connoisseur. I love printed leggings, especially like last year when they were like super popular. I like collected printed leggings, um, but I never got any plaid ones so I got these and they kind of match the jacket with that kind of reddish color but these are more of a black background and they're just your regular old stretchy soft leggings um, which obviously leggings are also an essential for fall any type of leggings you need leggings for fall and winter whether you're gonna just wear them for warmth to even layer underneath your jeans or just wear them by themselves with some high socks and some boots and a long sweater leggings are definitely an essential and I say plaid is an essential because plaid is a super trendy print right now and plaid is always good for fall and winter because it just kind of gives you that warm feel and um, I thought these plaid leggings were a cool alternative to say just a regular plaid flannel shirt because you're gonna see everyone wearing plaid flannel shirts including myself I think they're great but if you want to be a little bit more unique with your plaid try it on some pants or some leggings and I just think leggings are better than pants because I like to be comfy but <laughs> yeah so I got these leggings in a size medium and they're super soft and I just really like the plaid print. And these were only $12.99. So speaking of leggings, another fall essential for me is any type of faux leather, you know, black shiny leggings. Um, 
because I think they're a great alternative to say leather pants or something like that and leather is also really 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 big for fall so that's also another essential so I got these which aren't exactly um, supposed to be faux leather they're more of just that liquid look which to me is kind of the same thing um, I already have plain faux leather leggings I think I have a couple of them already so I didn't want to just get the same thing so I got these which are a little bit different if you look closely it has kind of more of a glittery really really tiny fish scale pattern which gives you like a lot of shine and dimension it just kind of sparkles a little bit more and um, I don't know I kind of like it it's kind of almost like a little reptile type feel so I really liked these and I'm actually thinking about cutting the knees on these because slit knees are another thing that's super super trendy right now and I don't really have any pants with the just the one slit that goes across the knee and I think it might be cool to have that in leggings so it'd be really easy to just try these on and cut a slit at the knee to give it more of that grunge look so I think I might do that and I got these in a medium as well and they were $12.99 as well so the last last piece that I got, my last fall essential, is long drapey knitted sweaters. So this is the perfect black drapey knitted sweater. It's got kind of a spiderweb knit to it. It's a very loose see-through knit. And I think um, these are really nice to add texture to your outfit rather than just a regular plain solid sweater. These have a lot of holes and you know texture and stuff like that to give more interest to your outfit. And they're also just really kind of comfy and slouchy so I got this in a size large just because I really wanted that oversized long look um, but it is already long in itself so I'll show you and it goes all the way down and covers your butt and it hangs down past my knees and I just really like how it's really long sleeves. It comes down over my hands to give you that really comfy baggy look. And this is good if you're like me and you live down south or you live in Texas where sometimes during the fall season it's really not that cold. So you might just kind of want to throw something on but you don't want to be burning hot. So this is perfect for that because it still lets you stay cool um, but it still gives you that fall look. So like I said, I got this in a size large because I wanted it to be baggy and it was $24.99. So yeah, if you're still looking for things to add into your fall wardrobe and transition into your winter wardrobe, I definitely recommend felt hats, anything plaid, leggings, long drapey sweaters, and bomber jackets. So those are my five tips for your fall to winter wardrobe. And if you guys want to see any specific styling videos on any of these key pieces, for example, how to style felt hats, I can do separate videos on that. I know you guys really enjoyed my fall lookbook and I'm so glad you liked it. I spent a lot of time editing it. Um, so I'm really glad you liked that. So maybe I can do more fall looks um, on specific pieces like how to style leggings, how to style fall hats, anything like that. So if you have a specific one you want to see, definitely leave those comments down below and I will do that for you guys. Also, Black Friday is coming up so you know everyone is going to be having a sale and Styles for Less is actually offering a lot of good discounts so I have them here. On November 27th, they are going to be having an in-store offer of 30 to 50% off for the first 100 people in line. So if you go to the actual store, if there's a Styles for Less near you, I know there's one near me, definitely check out that 30 to 50% off. And then on online on 11 27 the entire site is going to be buy one get one 50 percent off so that's really good and i actually have a nice little promo code for you guys if you click the link below you can get 20 percent off any one regular priced item so if you want to shop online get one thing definitely click that link down below and get 20 percent off and i hope this video helps some of you guys out if you kind of were stuck on what to get and definitely check out styles for less because they have all those essentials that you need for really affordable prices and they have a huge selection of stuff so I will put all the links to everything I got down below if it is still available and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one bye oh and by the way I chose a name for our little scully friend this is Edgar Allan Skull so congrats to whoever it was who chose that name it got a lot of likes in the comments so I chose to name him Edgar so this is Edgar he's gonna be hanging out in my videos from now on say hey I'm team iPhone 6 now what what I got the gold one of course I'll go everything girl I need to get a case for it so I'm like being so careful like so careful my precious oh and check out the nails Got my nails done all fall inspired. I tried matte nails for the very first time. This one's glossy though, cause it has the rhinestones on it. But what y'all think? Woo! Pop the molly, I'm sweating.